Welcome back, soulmates. Now, tonight we're joined by a vocally gifted, extremely vocally gifted powerhouse singer of the multi-platinum selling group, Escape. But first, let's take a look at her new video. Stay with me. When I think, I think about all the times that you, you kept me. When the world was so cold. When the world was so cold. Oh. Now, it was your grace that pulled me time that I needed you most and that's why I ask you to stay, stay with me well, yeah. please welcome Latasha Scott Bivens Latasha Yay, welcome hey y'all hey, how y'all hey, doing hanging, hanging, girl. thanks for taking a a moment from your busy schedule you're in your tour bus right now yes i'm out here working um loving on people being able to get out in front of folks and and, and talk to them and it's different you know in the back in the day we used to get on the tour bus and we go to radio stations and you know we touch lives like that and I, I just wanted to get back to that and promote this this album that's coming out on good friday so you know it's just that well, Latasha, you recently had a beautiful encounter with gospel legend, Pastor Shirley Caesar. Tell Ooh. us about that moment and how she poured into you. I mean, she was just, a, she just poured gems into me. She prayed for me. First of all, I needed it, you know, just been going through a lot lately. And as she's talking to me, she is the pioneer. If y'all don't know nothing about Pastor Shirley Caesar, I grew up listening to her, her music. Just She's just been a trailblazer. Mm. And to have her bless my life, and just talk to me. And she, she also talked to my mother, who was always a fan. You know, it was just something big for me. I needed it. You know, there were moments like that, that it helps you to get through. And I, I really needed it at that moment. And that's good to have something like that before you get ready to embark upon a gospel album, you know, being secular for all this time, because, you know, it's very tough when you've been secular all these years, people are very critical you know, you know how it is. Like, oh, now she want to do a gospel. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I've heard um, all of that. But you're interested. Uh huh. What'd you say? I, I said I've heard all of that. You know. Oh, girl. Sure. Listen, like, they they. they the hello, somebody. Most of us are. Yeah. Um. So, but you've entered a new season in your life with the launch of your debut gospel album, and it's called "The Invitation: A Conversation with God." Tell us about this project and what inspired you to transition in the first place with you know, what we just said, you know, being the case, what made you be like, you know what, this is something I, you know, I wanted to, you know, I want to do and I'm just going to do it. Well, I, I always wanted to do music, any genre of music. I feel like when God gives you a gift, it's supposed to be shared. It's not supposed to be caged. And so I've always had that mindset. And at the same time, you know, to be transparent, my sister and I were talking about doing music together. Mm. And what that would entail would be just us, the sisterhood, the gospel. We grew up in the church and Man. just continuously using the gift. And things got kind of um, went downhill when we started to film. And when you talk about being an inspiration and doing inspirational music, you want to be evenly yoked. And at that time, I was like, nah, this is just not the place. And like Vivica said before, I heard you on the other interview, everybody not meant to go with you and, and it could be family included. So I had to come to the realization, but this is something I always wanted to do. And life took a turn, you know, I was, it was different <laughs> things for me. And I started to write about my experiences as I'm writing these experiences. I'm like, Lord, I, this is something that I know you want me to do. There were no kinks in the road. There were no hiccups. It's something that's just happened organically. And I was so excited and surprised that going to the label to say, Hey, I want ownership. You know, I want to be able to do a partnership with this. And I got ownership. I actually signed myself to myself. And so many times as women and our mm -hmm. counterparts get all of the accolades and the things of that sort. and now that I'm in this space, I can also help someone else. So it's just all an assignment that I have. And I'm, I'm, I'm heeding to that assignment from God. That's all. That's so funny. like you said, you were in a group. You were with um, the group Escape. Yes. What made you? I am, I am, I am, I am. You still am. Oh, I'm glad I'm. to hear that. Because yes. I think a lot of people have that confused, you know? Um, so, but to do a solo um, album, that that takes a lot of faith in oneself, you know, to say, you know what, I know I, I'm in a group, but I, I got something I want to share. Because I'm going to tell you, your voice was stunning. The, the the video, the white, all of that. I mean, just truly mesmerizing. What made you say, I can do this? Life. Mm. Um, 
my people, my village, my family, friends. I went to the Stellar Awards last year and a lot of people like, girl, how you know they're going to embrace you out there? You're going to go out there and think, when I tell you Karen Clark Sheard, the yes. whole Clark sisters, Kim Burrell, Ty Tip Tribbett, everybody was like, listen, this is your, this is you. Like, we know where you come from. You don't have to explain anything to us. And when you think about different genres of music and the people that come before me, like the Whitney Houston's and the Aretha Franklin's, and even, you know, when I think about Al Green and Ray Charles, they were able to do different genres of music. And they were the trailblazers. And I want to be mentioned within that. I don't want people to put me in a box. Don't set the bar for me. You know, you can set your own bar. Don't set mine. But I've always known that this was something I wanted to do. And it just kind of, it took a turn for the best. I'll say that. And I just stepped out on faith and I'm still walking on it. With this new song that you have called Stay With Me, there was a, a part that really hit home for so many of your fans. I want you to take a look. Well, let me say this, girl, because something about me listening to that is resonating with me. It's your voice. It is the way that you are getting into it, even though you have recorded this song and the video, you're still in it. When we were just looking at the video, I see you in your square and you're feeling it. And mm -hmm. I want to say that with anybody's journey, it has to be mistakes and things that you have made and things you've gone through. What you are saying through your music is that you have lived and that you are living and that you release and you are anointed and that you know what you want because you are empowered with what you want to do and what choices that you and your God on your journey has allowed you to be able to do. So I I say be free, be in control, be Ooh. able to love you and look in that mirror. And if you are happy with you and your family, which your marriage is, is, is because they say when a man findeth the wife, he findeth the good thing. If that is evenly yoked and you feel good about the decisions that you make, carry on, carry on. Mm -hmm. Lisa Redden took us to church. Okay, amen. That, that, that's hey, your song, honey. That song then brought out a whole sermon. <laughs> I mean, I because that. you can feel it. You can yeah. feel the gentleness. You can Stay feel, and I don't even want to say the begging, but you can feel the 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 the, the you are actually calling upon them. Just just come up on my life. Just I need you. I need you to stay with me. I need you to be with me. Be around me. Surround me. Uplift me. I feel it. I'm buying it. I am a fan. I'm at, your thank boy you. was something about when y'all go to church. You yeah. take us to church, and I say yeah. thank you and amen to you, sister. Serious. Uh, thank you. I, when I tell you that this music has been therapy for me, you know, when I speak from my heart, I've gone in to write things, and I'm not saying it's been easy to do because so, sometimes you can't even talk about things that are going on it's been yeah. easy for me to write it and so I know that even with my journey I'll touch somebody else's life because sometimes the lessons are not just for us it's for other people so I want to be that that person but yeah that that comes from my heart that's just me asking God to stay with me as long as he don't leave oh. I don't care about folks and don't say it I'm saying it's critics out there but I, I'm it's, it's the creator for me so it's just that Latasha we've all seen like there's been a lot of critical critical talk and I wonder about your mental health, like how it must feel. Cause I know how I'm affected when I see stuff and I spent time with you doing a play and, and we've had long conversations and you know, I, I feel for that. Um, so speaking of mistakes, do you feel like there's a, a, a misconception of who Latasha Scott is at times? And what would you like to say to that? Because does it, does it get frustrating when PR people say, take the higher ground, don't say anything, be quiet, just let, I'd be like, F that, I want to say my truth. Yeah, <laughs> I've been quiet for a long time. And I think the misconception mm. for me is that I'm a mean girl or that I'm a thief. You know, even with this $30,000 allegation from my sister of which I've always wanted clarity since, since day one. I've called, yes. I've reached out, I've sent voice messages like to try to get clarity because you're talking about something that happened 10 years, 10 years ago that I know nothing of and I'm finding out in scene. So my thing is, is was this for a storyline or is this real life? Because in real life, me and my sister, we talk and you're talking about 10 years ago and I'm calling you. And if somebody accuses you of something, 
they should be able to talk to you about it. It's not even about the thirty thousand dollars. It's about having my sister back. Like I'll give you that. But at the end of the day, you need to talk to me. I don't want to hear from somebody. You're talking to everybody else outside of me. Talk to me. Word. I'm your sister. And let me tell you something. You keep saying that. You keep reaching for her because I had something like that happen too. And mm-hmm. I had people around me that said, you know what? If you getting up with her on your heart and her on your mind, you get up and you call her. So it don't matter who's the biggest sister, the oldest sister, what? That's your sister. That's your family. That's your blood. Get it together. Get it together. I'm trying, man. I'm going to keep doing it. So, that's so, you, so you said it here first. You said it on Cocktails of Queens that it's not true and it's fake news. It is. And, and it you, is would give it, you would give it all to have your sister back. You want your sister and, back. And the thing is, the cameras are off now, so I want I, she need to talk to me. Ain't that's no camera fine. rolling. So let's talk. That's, that's, that's family, so yeah. I hope you're able to do that because you do look hurt. Yeah, it's going to be okay. Mm-hmm. You know, things happen and just know, no, sweetheart that they're all about chapters to make you a stronger woman, to be a better performance. If you didn't go through something, you didn't have nothing to sing about. You know what I'm saying? So, and, 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 you know, this is what people don't understand when it comes to our lives and what we go through in the different chapters. It's good times, it's bad times. And like I told y'all, it's about choices. And sometimes those choices you gotta make are with friends, family, professional people, but they're about choices. And what I can hear from you now is that you choose in family and you yeah. choose in family first. God bless you, sister. Yeah. Thank you. Stay to your truth, okay? We love yeah. you too. Love and we you. support all right? you behind it's gonna you. Be all right. It's going to be all right. Yes, but it is. Communication yes. and yes. transparency yes. is the best because even you know you may not like the answers you hear sometimes, if you know the truth, you can go from there. Latasha, is there anything you want to say before we let you go to uh, address the world or just tell them to listen to the song? Because the song got me in my field. Oh, my gosh. No, I just I thank them for just the support throughout the years. I mean, this has been a roller coaster ride. This has been something that's been on my heart to to sing about. And I just hope that people embrace it because there's a message there. There's hurt there, but it's also coming through there. So um, that's just it. And I thank you all for this platform for me to be able to have my voice heard and I thank y'all. That's that's it. Thank y'all. Come You're, back welcome. You're welcome, beautiful queen. Well, yes. thank you so much, Latasha, for joining us. We really appreciate it. I know it's been a tough few weeks for you, so we extra appreciate that. 